Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. So you say you just had this online program to do it by yourself? Yeah, from this dude um, in California. Yeah, but I've been doing it for at least two weeks now. Mr. Do It Movement, that's, what, that's his IG. So shout out to him. It's all body? Yeah. It's like a lot of stuff I was missing, like um, hips. Glutes, core, my lower back, um, and then you got some strength stuff. Body just get stronger. And stuff. I think I'm gonna do strength today. So a lot of the time you guys come here uh, before. Yeah, or most of the time, like during the weekdays, I come right after school, and then I. Got to work out with that. Work out with Gary right after. Are you guys going to school now? No, no, no. I do online. But, um, yeah, because the gym's not usually open early in the morning. Because the owner doesn't let us use this gym in the morning. So there's still like some weights. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some weights, but it's mostly for me to hit like my inner thighs, my hamstrings, my glutes, and my lower back and my core. Because that's what the weakest part of me was. So um, yeah, the, the season went, in the beginning of the season, it went pretty well, honestly. Um, we started off in the Juco Jamboree. We went 4-0. You know, a lot of my teammates, including me, we're, we're starting to get the college recognition we finally deserve. And then um, I think the season opener was against, uh, SIAA team was against American Collegiate. We beat them. And then um, we had the crossover tournament next. And I'm pretty sure we went 0 2. But yeah, the season was going pretty well, honestly, until we had a game against West Oaks Academy. The day of the game, they reported me as a reclass kid. I reclass, and I'm still 18. I'm still like one of the youngest kids in the league for seniors. And I don't turn 19 until April 6th, so a month or two. Um, so I'm playing with a team from Rhode Island called Rhode Island Elite, and um, I've been receiving a lot of a lot of interest from schools, a couple a couple of Division One, D2, and JUCO. So as of right now, I'm just waiting honestly to see what schools gonna offer because the transfer portal is crazy right now. So most coaches right now are looking for you know Division One transfers. Juco players, people that have already had the experience at the college level. So yeah, right now I'm just, everything's up in the air, just pending, so.
Still to this day, me and Gary just been working on a lot of just reads off the screen, coming off the screen, reads off off ball screens, coming off, and just working on my shot. Cause honestly, the NBA like you got to be, especially if you're small, you got to be able to shoot consistently from a you know from a far range, and just be able to handle pressure. And um, yeah, that's my goal. Also, just go to the league. I don't know, but this is definitely my plan to go Division One, and I know I'm a Division One kid. So, um, but the the few schools that are interested is ETSU, South Dakota, and Akron. And then um, I have a couple of JUCOs also, but that's just that's like my that's not my goal. D Division One is my goal. So, if that doesn't work out, God's plan, you know, honestly. So yeah, honestly, Division One is is that's my goal. Like that's what I work so hard for. But if if I have no other option, I'm I'm gonna go JUCO. Are this those like caps of uh, nuts? Huh? Is that like the these? Yeah. I think these are like I don't even know. When I was a junior back at home in Manchester, New Hampshire, um, honestly, like I didn't know if I wanted to continue to hoop because of how low my confidence was. You know, I didn't have someone like Gary or I did like my brother, but like on the court is just completely different. A coach can honestly just kill your confidence. But that's pretty much what made me today. Honestly, Gary was just instilling confidence in me so I can become that player that I know I am. And um, so, yeah, my confidence, my junior year was just completely, it was just gone. I came here, my, uh, I came here to reclass, so I reclass my junior year. And um, that's when Gary, was just, we were just working, he was working on my shot, just trying to tweak little stuff that I didn't have that I need. Yeah, so Gary was trying to tweak the stuff that I didn't have that I needed. And honestly, like, I played a, I had a solid year my junior year that I reclassed. I had a very solid year. I didn't have the, the, the pieces behind me, but I proved to a lot of people that I can play at the next level. And then for this year, we started off with the Juco Jamboree. And that, that like, I stamped it that, like, I can, I'm a college player for sure. Like, and in my head, there's no one that can honestly tell me that I'm not Division One kid, because that's honestly how I feel, and a lot of other people do too. So. A gallon a day, bro. He doesn't mind like going, coming here, coming back. Who me? Or Gary? Here, even though he lives close. I mean, nah, definitely not, because he does this, so, but, um, nah, Gary's a really genuine dude, to be honest, so. he does everything for the kids. Yeah. That actually want to work, if he sees that you want to work hard and want to really put in work, he'll, he'll give you his time, too, because he got a kid, you know, he got responsibilities, too, so, but if he sees you're willing to work, he'll definitely give his time to you. Yeah, because that last time, remember, it was like, it was like 11. 11 o'clock. Yeah, that was after one of our games, too.
So yeah, um, me living in Florida now was kind of rough. When we first moved here, when I first moved here with my brother, you know, my brother's 20, he was 22 at the time when we first moved here. Um, honestly, it was, it was rough, it was really small. I was used to my, my, my mother, you know, always having, like, always being there for me, like, say I come home from a workout, really tired, I had to, um, should make the food, you know what I'm saying? The food would already be ready at home and stuff. So I kind of, it felt kind of like I was living on my own, like in a college environment. So I lived somewhere that's normally for like college housing, you know, it's, there was, it was run, one room that was extremely small, so we had to make it work. So yeah, it was it was a really small room because it was only meant for one person. So me and my brother had to make that work, and honestly, we just we kind of we kind of grew from it because you know being on your own, you learn a lot, you see a lot that you you see a lot of stuff that you normally don't see. Like it's a you, it's a different perspective, honestly, in life. It was really different, you know, having to cook for myself after coming home from an extremely tiring workout. And yeah, stuff like that, it was just, it was honestly just something new I haven't really seen, but at the same time, it was a really fun experience, you know? You get to kind of do stuff on your own time. First dead seal, just come off, boom. Dead seal, keep that dribble alive. My brother was, you know, he was he was busting his butt every day, trying to find a job. Because when we first got here, he didn't really have one. But he was in school, so he had to um, he actually had to he actually had to drop out in order for us to, you know, continue to stay in the spot that we were at. So he was going through it while taking me to practice. Like that's another thing. I got to give him a lot of credit for my brother because honestly, I wouldn't be where I'm at without him. Now he does it. Honestly, I don't know why, because I, I don't know too many older brothers like him. I haven't met any, honestly. But um, he does it, you know, we're family, it's, it's blood. It's, that's how stuff is supposed to be, you know? Um, he was working every single day because, you know, he's really, in the, he's very independent. He wasn't trying to, you know, go to my mom for certain things, my dad, so he was working every single day for us to be able to stay in Florida on our own. I felt like there was never a day we didn't have a meal, like a food on, on the table. We always made something work, honestly. But we, we were kind of eating a lot of fast food. A lot of it was like cheap meals, like 
something just to go like quick, but it wasn't like a full proportion meal like how I how I eat now. We just we got here at seven in the morning. Did my little workout for my body. Then um, Gary came here at nine, nine fifteen. Finished that. Now we're about to get something to eat. I don't know, probably fresh kitchen. Yeah. So, um, just got back from eating at home. And usually, um, usually I have someone in here rebounding with me, shooting with me. So, um, usually we start off with form shooting, make 10 around, and then 10, 10 one dribble pull ups around, then spot up threes. Uh, 10, each spot. But is it you tonight? Yeah, it's just me, because my boy couldn't make it, so. It's all good off of myself. Uh, I heard, I have a couple friends, I have a lot of friends maybe transferring this year to Juco or next year for next season. And um, I heard it's just, you gotta be a dog to, you can, in order to survive, you gotta be a dog. Like, honestly, and I believe I'll, I'll be perfectly fine in that environment. I'll survive, you know? What's your, what's your schedule like nowadays? Um, now it's kind of just messed up, honestly. Due to, you know, I have, I'm not able to really get uh, rides in the morning anymore to Jeff. And um, so usually I wake up for school. I'm on school from 7.50 to 3.30. After that, I go to the gym. I do um, Mr. Do It Moving, shout out to him. Um, I do Mr. Do It Movements workouts that he has scheduled for me online. And then I'll do a workout with Gary. And then on the weekends, I wake up kind of early, maybe 6. I wake up 6.30, try to get to the gym at 7, depending on Gary's schedule too, because he's a busy guy, you know, he has family. He got, um, he has a kid, so I'm just, I got to work around other people's schedule until I get my car. But yeah, I try to wake up early depending on what Gary wants. And um, I work out with him, I'll go eat something. And if there's runs or I'll work out again, go shoot. You know, just trying to stay in the gym as much as possible, just continue to develop my game. Not too long ago, um, so my mom had to move down here because it was too expensive to stay by herself. She, she had to squeeze in with me and my brother now. So it's three of us in one apartment, kind of small. So that's kind of honest, that's honestly what makes me go harder too, is motivation. That's just one of the things, because I have a lot that really motivates me to wake up every day and go hard. <laughs> 